Assalamu alaikum friends this is Miraj Ikram welcome to my channel I hope you all are doing well in this video we are going to solve a big problem of research students which is to find out the right appropriate sample size for your research I know it's a big hassle for many students uh, to find out the right sample size in this video we are going to focus on SAM based models and we are going to find out how to calculate the sample size for your SAM based models there are many methods available which are quite difficult but today we are going to discuss a very easy way very easy software to calculate sample size which is also free for use and which is available online so I'm just going to write Daniel super on my Google search engine and, and I'm, I'm going to hit enter there you see the first link is danielsuper.com and you can see there are a lot of tools available on their website so I'm just going to hit sample size over here now you can see few sample size calculators in front of you we are going to choose a priori sample size calculator for structural equation models remember a priori uh, tool is to use before the data collection if you have already collected the data and you just want to check the power of your data then you are going to use post hoc test but this video is about a priori if you haven't started to collect data yet so i'm just going to click on this structural equational model calculator right over here you have the calculator in front of you and you can see a couple of options the first one is anticipated effect size uh, just in case if you do not know uh, the effect size I would advise to use 0.3 which is the medium effect size so 0.1 is the small one 0.3 is medium and 0.5 is large effect size I would suggest going with the medium effect size and the second is desired statical power you can, cho you can uh, choose the power whether you want 80 percent whether you want 90 percent but usually in classical research 80 percent is the acceptable value and we are going with 80 percent which is 0.8 now next is number of latent variables over here you are going to give that count of unobserved latent variables and in second column next to it you're going to write number of observed variables by the way those who do not know what are latent variables and what are observed variable let me show those variables to you so now in front of my screen I have a model in PLS and I'm going to highlight the latent and observed variable so you can easily identify so you can see this one is observed this one is observed 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 so all the ones I have ticked are your observed variable so these observed variable are also known as items to many students so the items the the statements you ask from respondents are basically your observed variables and these were your constructs are your latent or also known as unobserved variables so in our case in our case we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 observed variable and 3 latent which are also known as unobserved variable so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going back to that calculator and over here I'm going to write 3 because the count of my latent variables were 3 and here in observed variables we counted 14 so I'm going to write 14 and then next one is probability level uh, if your confidence interval is uh, if, you, if, you, if you want to have a probability of 90 percent then you can write 0.1 or if you want a confidence interval of 95% then you can write 
0.05 that depends on your model now I'm just gonna click, click calculate and there we go it has given us the minimum sample size to detect effect and it has also given us the recommended sample minimum sample size which is 119 I would suggest go with a higher number uh, more than 119 because we know uh, sometimes we don't get 100% response so you have to consider the response rate and add a percentage to this minimum sample size to get a sufficient data for your research analysis uh, for references you can look into related resources and you can see there this is uh, the reference tab you can hit here and find out the reference to support this sample size number thank you for watching this video i hope it was simple one and if in case if you have any feedback or comments you can always write to me take care allah hafiz